This is <clears throat> find numbers with even number of digits. So given an array of integers, return how many of them contain an even number of digits. Um, <clears throat> so what it's saying here is in this example, the arrays is called num and you're given one, two, three, four, five numbers. And the output is two because in only two of these numbers, is there an even amount of digits that make up the number? So for instance, even though two is an even number, it is not going to be counted because there's only one digit that makes up the number two. So 12 and 7,896 are going to be counted because they have an even amount of numbers, 12 having two digits and 7,896 having four digits. Okay, um, so the plan for this problem is to, you're going to return an integer, so we're going to return a count um, that we keep track of. Um, we're going to iterate by looking at each number in the nums array, <clears throat> find the length of the integer, of a given number, count it if it is an even amount of digits. Okay, um, so let's first make what we're returning here. We're saying int, I'm going to call it count. I'm going to start at zero. And then at the end, we're going to return our count. Um, so let's iterate by looking at each number in the array. And to iterate, I'm going to just say for each int i in the in nums, Um, another way of iterating through, which is totally valid, it's a little more verbose, is for int i, it starts at zero, i less than uh, nums length, um, i plus plus. Uh, that's just another way of doing it, um, but I like using this second method when I can because it's much more succinct. <clears throat> Um, so for each and i, we have to find the length of this i, and finding the length of an integer is not built into the Java library, so um, what I want to do is first, um, we can convert it to a string or look at the value of it if we considered it a string. Um, so we'll have string s is equal to string value of i and then we're going to have int length is going to equal to s length. And um, so now we have our length, and we have to say if this length is even, um, add one to count variable. Okay, um, so I will use the, the uh, best way to do this is to use the modulo operator, and um, the modulo operator tells you if there's a remainder after uh, division, so if I uh, um, so if length is divided by two and there is no remainder left, we are going to increase our count by one. And this here is just going through the loop. And then if we get through this, we should be able to return it here. Let's try running the code. Uh, 
and that works. Um, just a couple things here. Um, I broke this into two lines, but you don't actually have to do that. Um, if you wanted to make it more succinct, but it might not be as readable, um, you could just replace this thing, this um, S that I have here, just with that whole value, but it's a little lengthy. It's string value of I, and then you call length on that to get the length. Um, so let me run that one just to show you. And that gives you the same. And another thing that I find helpful is that sometimes um, system out uh, print line. Um, sometimes it's helpful to just use the system out. And for any one of the leak code problems that you're solving, if you just want to print something at some point just for debugging or to check um, the system, it's it prints out and it doesn't affect uh, whether or not your answer is accepted. So this is just standard output. And so it's just showing you that it's looking at the length. The length is two, the length is three, the length is one, the one, and then four. Um, so yeah, then if you print it over here, it should only be getting into here. So, oh, if this length is even, um, then we're gonna count it, so. So see in here, it only prints out the two and the four and the output is two. So um, that's it and hopefully that'll help you solve that one. Um, if there's any problems that you um, would like me to solve, just leave a comment, please. Um, thank you.